Hi, I'm Jason. It's been a long time since I've created a video for YouTube, so apologies to all my subscribers. I guess I've just been a little bit busier than normal. So, in this short tutorial, I want to go through a few things that you can do as adults to get your kids off their computers with way of force, but doing it safely. If your house is anything like mine, it seems to be a task every night to get the kids off the computer. So rather than getting very frustrated and marching into their rooms to pull the plug from their computer, which doesn't do the computer much good, I'm going to take you through a few ways you can sneakily put a stop to their antics with what I like to call an ADOS attack, an adult denial of service. So in this video I want to show you my sneaky ADOS attack that involves using Microsoft Outlook. But before we start, we need to gain access to the offender's computer for a few minutes to set some little traps. So I'm going to use TeamViewer to connect to my son's computer. Uh, TeamViewer is free to use. Just put in Google TeamViewer and you can download it. And it is another way that obviously you can control your your son or daughter's computer. So here we can see that I'm on my son's computer. And as you can see, he has Windows 7. But this will work on any version of Windows. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Notepad. So if I go and just type in here Note, there it is there. We'll open Notepad. And I'm going to start typing in here C colon backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash Shutdown dot EXE and then I'm going to put a space and we'll say minus S space minus F space minus C space and then in quotes I'm going to put in there the message that I want to tell him uh, the reason why his computer is all of a sudden going to shut itself down so if I just put in there I told you so and we'll end the quotes and then I'll put a space and I'm going to say minus T and then something like 030 so let me explain what I've just done. So the C colon slash Windows System32 shutdown exe or shutdown dot exe is the path to the executable that runs when you shut down your computer. The S switch is to instigate the shutdown. The F switch will force any running programs to end without warning. And the C switch will allow a comment to display on the screen and by the way that's my favorite bit and I'm sure you can be more imaginative than I have with my message the last switch is the T switch which will set the time limit so leaving the number out will default to 30 seconds so anything from 0 to 10 years worth of seconds you can you can set so now I'm just going to file save as and let's call it something like do not touch and we're going to call it dot bat and let's save that to our c drive because we don't want the young offender seeing this file oh well it won't let me save it in the c drive so let's just save it on the desktop for now and we'll move it into the c drive Right, now you must stipulate, I, I must stipulate, it must end in dot .bat. Uh, the dot .bat is a batch file and that will allow us to run the program. And I'll explain more of that later. So, there is our do not touch dot .bat. And if I open up the C drive and if we move it into there. So, let's test this out. So if I double click it, something run in the background very quickly there. And there we can see is the message saying, I told you so. So I've instigated 30 seconds. 
So that will sit there for 30 seconds and then obviously my son is going to sit there thinking what the is going on and then lo and behold we're about to lose connectivity and there we go. So we know the batch file works because it shut down my son's computer. So I'm going to pause this video for a second while I go down there and switch it back on again. Right, hopefully uh, the computer should have started again, so let's log back on. Right, so what we need to do now is set the trigger for our trap and we're like I said before we're going to use Outlook so we need to set some sort of rule up in Microsoft Outlook but before I do none of this of course is going to work unless Outlook is running so let's make sure that Outlook loads with Windows so it's always running in the background and the way we can do that is if we click on the start and go to all programs and then if I scroll down here you'll see folder called startup and if I right click and select open that'll open up our startup folder now all I need to do is go to my programs we'll go to Microsoft Office and I can just drag my Outlook in there and create a shortcut so every time the computer starts it will load Outlook Right, and the other thing uh, we probably would need to do, although it's up to you whether you want to or not, but if I right click on this uh, shortcut that I've put in here and select properties, and then down here underneath the shortcut tab where it says run, uh, it's normally set to normal mode. If I run it minimized, and then we apply that, and then OK. So when Outlook does start up it will just be minimized to the taskbar down the bottom. Right, so let's open up Outlook. So the first thing I need to do is I need to set a rule. So up here we have uh, rules and if I click on this I can select manage rules and alerts. And by the way this is uh, Outlook 2010 but it works in 2007 2013 and 2016. So I'm going to select a new rule and further down this list here I'm going to select um, apply a rule on a message that I receive and click next. Now the type of message uh, that I'm going to expect is obviously going to be sent from my email account or my wife's account so we're going to say uh, it's going to have a specific word in the subject so if I tick that box and then down here we have this specific words in the subject so if I click on that I can type in here the words that I want to specifically add into the subject of the email that I'm going to send this computer so let's just say in capitals ADOS and add and OK and then I can click next and it says at the top there what do you want to do with the message well if I just scroll down a little bit here I want to start an application so here it is here so let's start the application and then further down again we've got the application here that we want to start so I'm going to click on that and remember that batch file that we made and put it in the C drive so let's open up the C drive and we don't see the dot back because it's only looking for executable files so we need to change this to say all files and there it is do not touch dot bat so I'm going to select that and say open and then we can say next now it says are there any exceptions well no there aren't any exceptions so I will just leave that as it is and click next again 
and then we need to specify a name for this rule well I can just leave it as ADOS because I know what it means and make sure in step 2 here that we have turn on this rule and then just click finish so we can see in our list now we have a rule set on ADOS so I'm going to apply and OK right so let's test this out and we'll send an email um, to the account with the heading or the subject of ADOS uh, so let's minimize that computer for a moment we'll go back to my PC and just to prove the fact that we we don't need to use Outlook to send the message um, so if I go onto my web mail I'll log in Let's compose a new message. And then in the subject, we're going to put ADOS, which is going to be our trigger for the rule. And I'll put it in the body as well. And we'll click send. And if I quickly flick back to my son's computer, any minute now we should get an email pop up in his inbox and there it is so the message has popped up with the subject ADOS and we can see there that you're about to be logged off with my message so he's got about another 20 seconds left and then that's the end of that so I hope you enjoyed this video I certainly am going to enjoy inflicting this pain on my son next time he gives me some larap and tells me that he's not going to turn his computer off um, uh, so please like and subscribe comment uh, if you want me to do any other videos that entail the same type of thing then let me know thanks for watching